Hey, this is Fanta. It's been a while. It's been a while. And today, what I wanted to do is, you know, for the past past little while, I've been I've been playing this game um, pretty casually. It's if you don't know, this is a game called Princess Connect. Um, it's made by Psy Games, which I think they made Shadowverse and Grand Blue Fantasy, um, pretty well-known titles. And this is like one of the top games in Japan right now. So there's a lot of people playing, and there is no global server, and most people, most English-speaking people play on the, the Japanese server. And um, what I wanted to do today is, you know, because in the past two videos, I kind of introduced the game and also made like a guide on like how to reroll and stuff. Um, today, what I want to do is kind of create kind of a beginner guide on how to how to get started if you're just starting to play the game and you don't understand it, like any Japanese, you have no idea what's going on. Okay, so um, the the first page is I'm I'm actually just going to be going through most of the interface of of this game and kind of like how to play. So this is going to be like the the newbie newbie guide. All right, so. Um, this this is like the home page um, basically over here there these are your shops and we'll get more into that later and then this one is your clan which eventually unlocks later and then you can you know you can do clan battles during clan battle times your news um, your missions like your daily missions and stuff and then like your inbox for, for, for getting stuff. And for the majority of the game, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing doing battles over here. And um, this is kind of like the main story mode. You'll be going through the story. As of right now, there's currently 25 maps. And I think a few hours after the recording time of this video, there's going to be 26 maps in, in the game. So basically what you do is you, you begin the story, like, you know, a lot of us probably played games like this before. You progress through the story um, through, through, through all the maps, and then eventually you'll, like, your characters will level and stuff, and you'll unlock more stuff as you progress through, through story mode. And this is kind of like your main objective of the game early on, basically trying, trying to get as far as you possibly can on, on story mode and this will unlock more features in the game once once you do and there's there's normal and there's there's also hard mode um, the other modes over here um, all the other modes over here are will eventually be unlocked after you progress through through story mode the first one is exploration um, exploration is kind of like a bonus thing they give you every single day it's, it's almost like a reward that they give you for logging in every single day um, to do because what it basically does is it gives you like XP potions and the other thing that it gives the other one gives you mana and mana is the, the currency it's kind of like the gold of this game it's basically the equivalent of gold in the game um, you need mana for like all the in-game stuff like the non-premium stuff like upgrading your characters upgrading their gear like all that stuff um, buying stuff from from the um, the shop like it requires mana so mana is, mana is your 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 main resource is your main like goal essentially and these stages also unlock um, you start with level one all the way up to level seven they unlock as you progress through story so um, you can probably tell by now that the most important thing of playing this game is just to progress through story like if you can progress through as far as possible through story you'll unlock more things and then you'll be able to get more resources each day to you know to keep enjoying the game playing and then getting other stuff and doing gacha and collecting all your all your waifus right um the the second mode here is dungeons um there's i think there's one two three four there's five difficulties of dungeons right now and um basically i'll actually go in go into my you get one one run a day of, of dungeon you can go into the dungeon um once a day and i'll actually i'll actually just do this um and i've completed all the dungeons right now they're not they're not extremely hard to do uh, especially the first two basically what i did was like when i first started playing the game i completed the first dungeon like on the first day of playing and then the second dungeon on the second day of playing and then like the third dungeon like 
you know, a few days later. So it was it wasn't very very hard to complete. Um, as you get through to the fourth dungeon, it gets a little bit harder, and then the fifth dungeon you can only um, really beat. As, as you get really really close to to max level and I had to like cheese this dungeon in order to, to beat it So I'm actually just gonna go in and, and kind of like show you um, Kind of what's inside. Well, actually, uh, I don't think I really need to show you basically. It's just um, You go and you you fight some enemies and then eventually at the very top There's gonna be a boss for you to fight and if you played games like uh, I've, se I've seen a lot of mechanics like this in, in games basically it's like if you go in and your, your units take damage as you progress through the next next stage um, that damage is is like it, it stays so you know if you lose health fighting the first stage you have to like continue on with whatever health that you lost which is pretty easily mitigated if you have like heals and stuff um, the, the third thing over here is is this I don't even know what this is called it's like some excavation thing um, and then you get these like I think they're called princess hearts and what they do is they allow your characters to craft their unique weapons um, and then um, what unique weapons do is they they change these the first normal skill of your character into into something else um, so yeah basically it's like another thing that you can do every single day and then the fourth thing is is clan battles um, you'll be able to fight these monsters and stuff with your clan it's most mostly for late game it's like not not really something you have to be like concerned about and then the two arenas also unlock as you progress through story mode um the, the first one is like a one team versus one team arena so it's like a 1v1 arena and then the other um arena is like a 3v3 arena so you you have to run three teams against three teams and it's like best out of three So as far as battles go in this game, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. Um, I normally don't even have to do the battles like manually. There's no there's no grinding or farming in this game. It's like like I said before, it's a really casual game um, because you can actually wait. I, I better not do this right now. You can actually use these things called sweep tickets, and what sweep tickets do is when you go into a stage and you're you're trying to clear a stage you can actually sweep the stage um, I, I have like 8,000 sweep tickets and they just keep giving you these for free so after you complete a stage you can just auto complete it again to try to grind and you know get get the rewards and stuff so essentially all you really need to do is like you can log on for like 10 minutes a day sweep everything and then just be done with it like if 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 you're not like super super serious and still be able to like progress and stuff so it's just it it, it really is a pretty casual game there's not a lot of grinding involved um if you sweep it it just auto automatically completes the stage you get all the rewards for it and that's about it um so everything you've completed before you can basically instant complete it uh, again afterwards um, so you don't have to go back and have like a team that like farms super fast to like try to grind over and over and over again which um, I I, I kind of like now <laughs> I kind of like now that I don't have that much that much time um, you can sweep all the all the stages you can sweep these the only thing you can't sweep is like the dungeons you have to actually fight fight through the dungeon um, and as for as for battle, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you I'll actually do a stage manually, so you can see what the battle is like. So we'll fight this. Uh, I don't even remember the team I used to beat this boss. So we'll fight a random stage over here. Uh, there's gotta be something I need. I think like one of these stages has something I need. I think this one has like a staff or something that I could use. Oh. Which, where's the stage with the staff? Ah, this one. Okay, so we'll we'll actually go into this um, manually, and I'll run a team. Let's see what the enemies have. We have this bee, this bird. Um, yeah, using a magic team with like a strong tank should be the right choice. All right. So what I'm gonna do? Okay. 
So, as you can see over here, there's like the auto, there's an auto mode, um, and you can actually speed this up to two times speed. I think on some stages, you can, on, on some parts of the game, you can speed up to four times. So, it can go really fast. Like, when you're farming the dungeon, you can, it can go up to four times. So, it really just takes, like, no time at all to, to really play. Um, the other thing is, I think I turned it off. It's like the, the animations. When they use their, their, their special skills, like this. This is her, um, her heal. And then if you turn on auto, auto mode, they'll use their, their, their like, ultimates. They call it Union Burst, which is their ultimates. When they have, like, a full bar. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And I have it on, like, two times right now. <laughs> I think the animations are, are super well done in this game. Because everything looks really high quality. I turn, I turn it so the animation only shows once per day for each character, which um, saves you time. You can turn it off to like save times, so it doesn't like if you're if you're doing battles and stuff, it doesn't it takes less time. Because if you if after a while, like in the beginning, you really like looking at the animations, but after a while, um, you, you eventually you turn it off. Right? I think having that mode where it shows like once a day is actually pretty good. I think I'll keep it as that. So you can like, you know, you don't get bored of it after a while. You only see it once a day. But basically the battle is pretty straightforward. Um, you'll notice that all characters have three skills. They have their like, you know, their ultimates, which is called Union Burst. Um, and they, they have like two, two other skills that they'll cast themselves. And each character will have like a different skill rotation. So for example, um, some characters will do, will like attack twice. And then they'll use their first skill, attack uh, again, like auto attack one one more time, and then use their second skill. So each character has like their different um, different skill rotations, and you have to like kind of plan them accordingly. So that's kind of the I th I think that's one of the really fun parts of the game. It's like you know it's it's not just all brain dead. You just put in a character and they just like auto the whole thing. You have to like consider um, what what skill rotations, what animations they do. And then if you're like getting like really really into really advanced stuff like the people trying to get like maximum um, damage in clan battles, they have to like you know um, not cancel certain animations with their with the with their ultimates and stuff like that. And then you know just it, it, it's like super hard to explain right now because the clan battles aren't aren't on right now. They're on like at a at a certain time every single month. Um, and I think that's like almost it for the basics. Um, the other thing is like the the shops. There's the mana shop. You can buy XP potions using mana. Um, the dungeon coins that you can get these character fragments for your characters to upgrade them. And then there's an arena. There's the two arenas, the 1v1 and the 3v3. And then there's the clan battle coins. And then there's the, um, the whale tiers. I forgot what they're actually called. Everyone just calls them whale tears because you only get these when you when you roll the the gacha right now. Um, the other thing is like as of recording right now, as of the time of recording and probably uploading this video, there's an event going on where they're giving away um, like free ten pulls a day. So it's pretty much I would say right now is like the best possible time to start playing this game if you if you want to start because you can actually start the game with like free 10 pulls and get like um, a lot of gems and then you can just re-roll get whichever character that you want to start the game with and just start the game with doing that so you'll have like a very very good good and easy and fast start if you if you do it right now because you get a lot of um you'll get a lot of pulls and a lot of free gems as you as you log in like at this this current time um the last thing is probably the kind of talking about how to upgrade your characters. As you can see over here, um, certain characters are like, you know, have like certain five star characters and some, some of them are four star, um, some of them are three star, two star, and one star. 
uh, certain all characters they they start from one star to three star. Um, three star is like the rarest, rarest of the of, of of the characters, and the game is made in a way so that when they're raised to five stars, they have like similar stats. So the three stars, the ones that are like natural three stars, they're not going to be as they're not going to be stronger than the ones that are natural one stars once they're both raised to five stars. So it's just basically the only difference is the, the three stars are, are rarer. Um, they're not necessarily stronger and a lot of one stars in this game are actually really, really strong. So it's, I, I think it's pretty balanced in that way. And you can actually say that like certain one stars are actually harder to, harder to raise. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of like it's kind of a pretty cool thing about this game. Um, basically, the way to raise their their ranks is you can get these these fragments, and as we saw before, you can get them from like the various shops, um, and some of them also drop from hard mode, and some of them you can't buy. So those are like the hardest characters to raise, and you can get their fragments, and once you collect enough, you can raise them from like three star to four star and four star to five star. And they get like a big um, stat increase when, when you increase their ranks uh, or increase their, their star ranks. The other thing is they're, they, they actually, the characters have like equipment rank as well. Um, and they all have different equipments that they use. And the way that you raise a character to the next rank, I'll actually use something I, I have over here, um, is you can actually equip their like, various equipments and you can if you have all the equipments, like if you equipped all their equipments, you can actually raise them to the next rank. So if you have like all their, or you can just, just click this button, it, it will automatically um, use all the equipments and raise them, raise your, your character to the next rank if you have all of them available. And then they get a stat increase. They basically get all the stats of each of these pieces of equipment once, they, once you raise their rank. So you can see over here, um, you know, some of them give HP, some of them give um, physical attack, physical defense, and then you can, you can, you know, just kind of increase increase your character's strength that way. Um, the other thing is is uh, what else is there? Oh, there's there's story mode. Like if you go through the story, there's this. It's basically like watching an anime, but there's like no, no, uh, no subtitles right now. There's there's actually some people who, who are tran actively translating the story. Um, we can take a look at that in the future. I haven't really gotten into the story yet because I, I can't, understand or read Japanese. Um, the other thing is like you can design your own guild house and you can have these buildings that actually give you like free stamina and stuff over time. And this is kind of like your main way to get stamina. You, you get a lot of stamina from, from these buildings in your guild house. And the way that you get the stamina buildings is you, you clear the dungeons. If you clear the dungeons, you can, you can get the buildings uh, for each dungeon that you clear. I think that's pretty much it. Um, that's like the very, very beginner part of a beginner, beginner, beginner guide of, the, of understanding... Um, understanding this game it's pretty it's pretty simple there's not a lot of uh not a lot of like it 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 seemed it, it seemed pretty hard at first because i couldn't understand any of the japanese but after like one or two days i basically understood what everything was so it's, it's really really not too difficult um there's there's a lot of guides on on the reddit also on on their discord channel so Basically, I use a lot of those resources to to learn how to how to get through the game and stuff very very easily. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.